Good day children. Today we are going to see some interesting topics in addition and subtraction. Now let's recall some of the concepts we have learnt in previous class. We have learnt about subtraction strategies. And what is the need for us to learn subtraction strategies? It helps us to subtract the numbers in easier way. There are three main strategies. Strategy 1 breaks up the second number and subtract. Strategy 2 come forward from the smaller number to the bigger number in step. Strategy 3 comes forward from the smaller number to the bigger number in tens. What are we going to learn today? We are going to learn about number patterns in today's class. Now let's recall some of the concepts we have learnt in previous class. We have learnt about subtraction strategies. And what is the need for us to learn subtraction strategies? It helps us to subtract the numbers in easier way. There are three main strategies. Strategy 1 breaks up the second number and subtract. Strategy 2 come forward from the smaller number to the bigger number in step. Strategy 3 comes forward from the smaller number to the bigger number in tens. Example 1. Look for a pattern in the differences then write next to. And the question is 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, 22 and so on. Here we are going to find the difference of every next numbers. First we are going to find the difference of 6 and 2. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Likewise we are going to find the difference of the next number 10 and 6. 10 minus 6 is equal to 4. Since the differences of next consecutive numbers are 4. Keeping that in mind, we are going to find out what is the number when subtracted with 22 gives a difference of 4. And we found out 26 minus 22 is equal to 4. Likewise, we are going to find out what is the next number. So, 30 minus 26 is equal to 4. So, the next number will be 30. Therefore, our pattern is 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, 22, 26 and 30. Look for a pattern and the difference. Then write next to. And our question is 6, 13, 16, 23, 26, 33 and so on. First, we have to find the difference of first two numbers. That is the difference of 13 and 6. We find the difference of 13 and 6 is 7. Then, similarly, we have to find the difference of next two numbers, 13 and 16. And we find that their difference is 3. Now, we need to find the difference of every next numbers. Since the difference of next consecutive numbers are 7 and 3, having this in mind, we found out the difference of 26 and 33 is 7. So, the next number should be of difference 3. So we guess the next number should be 36. So we have the difference 3. That is 36 minus 33 gives you 3. Similarly, we know that the difference of next two numbers should be of 7. So we guess the difference of 43 and 36 should be 7. Therefore, the number pattern in the difference goes like this. 6, 13, 16, 23, 26, 33, 36 and 43. Our next question is, add until you see a pattern, then complete. What do you noticed about the sum of three consecutive numbers? By adding the above given question, we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 gives you 6, 2 plus 3 plus 4 gives you 9, 3 plus 4 plus 5 gives you 12 and 4 plus 5 plus 6 gives you 15. We can notice the sum of three consecutive numbers are 6, 9, 12 and 15. So thereby we can say that these numbers are multiples of 3. Our next question is look at the pattern to complete the tars. We have the tar and we need to start from the base of the tar. We need to add 100 plus 200 gives you 300 and it should be written on the top of the tar. 
and 200 plus 300 gives you 500 and it has been written next to 300 and finally we need to just fill the last star by adding 300 plus 500 and we get 800 just this is the pattern we get explore a shortcut to add consecutive numbers and our question is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to we need to find out so here we are adding the mid number 3 plus 4 that gives up a sum of 7 similarly the either two numbers 2 plus 5 gives up a sum 7 finally we have 1 and 6 that makes up to a sum of 7 thus there are three pairs of numbers that total up to 7 each so 3 into 7 gives you 21 finally we can say 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 gives you 21 here is a short recapitulation of what we have learnt in today's class the main thing is we need to find the difference of every next numbers to complete the pattern thank you dear children hope you all enjoyed today's class